Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have a cubic equation. So this is k cube plus k equals 68 and we solve this for the values of k. Here first we focus on the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 68 and we write it as k cubed plus k equals 64 plus 4. We know that 64 plus 4 becomes uh, or gives us the 68 and now we move these two terms in the left hand side but here first we again focus on the right hand side and uh, we write our right hand side in this form. We know that this is 64 and 64 is equals to 4 cubed and this is our 4. And now in the next step here we move these both terms in the left hand side and now we make the pair of cubic term with the cubic term and uh, the uh, remaining term with the remaining term. So we have this is 4 uh, k cubed minus 4 cubed and plus here we have this is k minus 4 is equals to 0. And now you focus here and here we need uh, the nice cubic formula. And so here we know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square okay so we need this nice formula to solve the above equation so here we uh, apply this cubic formula on this term and uh, after applying this formula this term is written as uh, k minus 4 into k square plus 4k and plus 4 square plus we have k minus 4 equals to 0. And now you see here we have k minus 4 be the common term so that we just get common k minus 4 and the remaining terms are k square plus 4k plus this is a 4 square becomes a 16 and here when we take common k minus 4 then you get plus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here further uh, we just add or subtract the like terms and we have k minus 4 into k square plus 4k plus 16 plus 1 becomes 17 and this is equals to 0. So now you see here we have uh, two uh, factors these are multiplied by each other so that we write uh, these terms as in this form. So we take k minus 4 equals to 0 and we take this k square plus 4k plus 17 equals to 0. And now you see here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it is written as k is equals to 4. So this is the our uh, first root of the given equation and this is the real root. And now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and you know that this is quadratic in k variable uh, so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 4 and c is equals to 17. Okay. And here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and uh, here uh, we just uh, uh, substitute the values of a, b and c in this nice formula and it is written as k is equals to minus b. The value of b is 4 so this is minus 4 plus minus uh, square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 17 divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. So further uh, you see that we have this is k is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square is equals to 16 minus when we multiply 4 times of 17 uh, so 4 times of 17 becomes here 68 and it is divided by 2. 
So here we uh, need a more uh, simplified form of this uh, expression. Uh, so first we write it as minus 4 plus minus square root of here we subtract 16 minus 68. So 16 minus 68 becomes minus 52 divided by 2. So that uh, here we have k is equals to minus 4 plus minus. Uh, we write this uh, uh, minus 52 as a square root of 52 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So that here uh, we rewrite uh, this term as this is minus 4 plus minus. We write this 52 as 4 times of 13. We know that 4 times of 13 becomes 52 and this is minus 1 square root equals to iota and this is divided by 2 okay so uh, further uh, you see here uh, uh, we write this expression as minus 4 plus minus here we break this square root and we write it as square root of 4 into square root of 13 into iota and it is divided by 2 so here clearly you see that uh, the square root of 4 is equals to 2 and we write it as minus 4 plus minus we write this term as 2 into square root of 13 into iota and it is divided by 2 and now here uh, we need to break this fraction so when you break this fraction we write it as minus 4 divided by 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 13 into iota divided by 2 okay so uh, further uh, we need a more simplification so you write it as 2 times of 2 is 4 and we get k equals to minus 2 plus minus here you see that this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and you get square root of 13 into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation because if you focus on the given question statement our given question statement is cubic equation it means that our given equation has three roots so finally we have uh, the three roots of the given equation are the first root is k1 equals to 4 the second root is k2 equals to minus 2 plus square root of 13 into iota and our third root is k3 equals to minus 2 minus square root of 13 into iota okay so these are the final three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos